Clary Tech Stylist and welcome to my channel. This channel is about cross stitch and quilting but sometimes I throw in a few other things like um, something I found out thrifting or um, antiquing. Uh, today is going to be mostly about cross stitch. I have a little bit of haul. I have some um, some stitchy kindness and I am going to announce the winners of the 2000 subscriber bag giveaway and also the winner of the um, out of print blackbird design chart um, it's been a very very wild week here on the canyon on Sunday last Sunday uh, evening um, there had been a wildfire that was a little bit north of me and um, that started like at 1 30 in the afternoon and it spread very quickly um, coming my direction uh, the sheriff's office stopped by my house about 8 30 and said you need to leave you've got 20 minutes so i threw a lot of stuff in the jeep that i could grab that was uh, accessible and uh, packed up and, and went into town into sisters and stayed at the middle school where the Red Cross had set up for that first night uh, was able to come back in to the neighborhood um, The next day for a short time and then had to leave again that evening and then the whole week was at level two which is you have a few minutes to grab things and then you need to go. And um, right on the border of level two and level three, literally me and the house next to me were right on the border this whole week. Um, the fire was about, well, it's still going. It's about 6,000 plus acres. They have over 850 personnel on the fire. And the last, yesterday, we were able to go down to level one which is, you know, just be aware that it's it's there. They have uh, between 50 and 100 foot perimeter on it now, so that's considered the mopping up stage, and they're getting ready to redeploy um, some of the firefighters that, that came from out of the county and out of state to other fires. So we're looking really good. It was a very stressful um, two or three days, and then just, you know, having it hanging over our heads for the week. But uh, it's doing really good. I was able to unpack the Jeep yesterday. Um, got my stitchy room put back together. My quilting room is another matter. Those were several of the things that I grabbed. Um, not necessarily because they were the most important, but because I could. And um, I did, of course, have all my important papers and, and that sort of thing. The only thing I, I wasn't able to grab that I think is truly the most important to me are my pictures, but they are still packed away under several hundred pounds of boxes in my shop, and there was just no way I was gonna be able to get to those. So they're a priority um, coming up here soon to get those digitized, and so I don't have to worry about those next time. Uh, it would have been really sad if I had lost my home. Fortunately, in this fire, nobody lost their home. There was about 400 homes that were threatened between Deschutes County, where I live, and Jefferson County, where the fire started. And uh, it had come to about three miles from my house. Uh, it was very smoky for, for several days, but we're doing really good right now and uh, glad to kind of get back to some semblance of, of normal life. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here of the winner of the bag, and I can't recall the name because I don't have my phone, which I'm using to record. So the picture of the, the winner of the bag is right here. And the picture of the winner of the out of print blackbird chart is right here. And the winner of the blackbird chart, Angela, did contact me already. Um, I have answered both of their posts in the video and she's already contacted me. So that's going out to her this coming week. The winner of the uh, the bag it still needs to contact me and if this is you then you need to um, contact me by next Friday or this coming Friday so um, the last several weeks I've been working a lot on the blackbird design quilt along and quilts I, I filmed some how-to videos we filled some 
uh, flip through videos, Olivia B and I, who is co-hosting the Blackbird Design Cult along with me. And so I was really focused on doing um, the quilts along, but I did get some stitching in. So I'm gonna share the stitching that I've been doing pretty much since, um, I'd say the end of June through up through today. Um, it's just a little bit of everything here and there. And um, so let's, let's get started on that. So the first thing that I started, this is a new start, is uh, Louisa Barney, uh, 1892. And this is a Reflet de Soie. And I'm doing this on a, it's supposed to be a 46 count, but I, I was having a lot of trouble seeing, so I counted it out. It's actually a 56 count, so or a 50 count. So this is a 50 count uh, Lakeside Linen, and it is, let me find, oh, I'm doing it in all of the called for silks, which I have here. I got these from Kitten Stitcher. She has a lot of the um, Reflet de Soie silk cards. They're just gorgeous. The silks are gorgeous. And this is Vintage Tundra, I believe. So Louisa Barney, 50 count vin Lakeside Linen, Vintage Tundra, and that is my little start. This is definitely going to be, uh, this is a big girl. She is 424 by 348, so no small, no small piece, but, um, She's been on my, my wanting to do list for a long time, so I'm glad to get that one started. Uh, the next one I started recently is Sarah Jackson. This is another one I was really anxious to start and I got it kitted up about a couple weeks ago and I started it, well, I think last week. This is by um, Scarlet House and I'm doing it on the called for um, 36 count dolphin in the called for um, overdive floss. And so that's my little start on the border. And I, I love, I really, really love this color of linen. It is so pretty. So I got a little start on that. Um, I've also been working on several blackbirds. I think I have three maybe four here. Um, I worked on this the last couple days um, once things settled down a little bit. And this was a unicorn chart of mine for a long time. And then uh, Lisa Kendra Stitcher loaned it to me. So I have their song by Blackbird Designs. And I'm doing this on a 28 count light exemplar, uh, two over two in the called for colors. This is how far I've got. I actually have done this part and this and that line twice because uh, when I got over to start the third line, I realized I was a stitch off and I, it just wasn't going to work. So I pulled it all out and restitched it. And this is in my William Morris bag. The next thing that I started recently, and I started this actually when I went to the cross stitch retreat in Iowa, and I've gotten a little bit farther on it. I think I showed it in one of my recent videos, and it is Sarah Casey Unwin. And that's by Chessie and me. And I'm stitching this on a uh, 36 count color and cotton Havana. And that's my start. I'm getting the top border done. And I love this color, it's so pretty. They had a lot of color in cottons. I was at the uh, Stitchery Nook and uh, it was a tough decision which one I was gonna get. I ended up getting several, but um, this is so, so pretty. Uh, it's just, it's the right color of, of brown, my color of brown. Oh, here's the, here are the flosses. And they look so beautiful, those reds and like this blue, they look so beautiful on that brown. 
So Sarah Casey Unwin. Um, the next one I did a tiny start on is a, a club kit that I got a long time ago. It's since been released. And that is the first Winds of Autumn. And that's Blackbird Designs. And this is a giant strawberry. And the kit came with, of course, everything. It came with the Lady Dots Creates um, finishing velour or velvet and all of the flosses. And this is my itty bitty start. Just kind of getting the outline of the bird in there. So that is First Winds of Autumn, Blackbird Designs. And it's in one of my Blackbird bags. I got my little mini bag in here, that's my floss bag. Uh, the next Blackbird design that I've been working on um, is, oh gosh, where did it go? Oh, it's on the floor, I can't reach it. So it's Away We Ride, and I have the top border done. This is another one where I had to rip out a good portion, I think from, from here all the way over and down. Um, and restitch it because I was one stitch off. But I love the colors on this. I'm doing it on the Call for Linen, which is a Weeks Gray and the Called for Colors. And there are the colors on this one. So if you've seen this before and it looks like it didn't make any progress, I, I kinda did, but uh, I made it twice. The next thing I put a few stitches in on is the Peace, Love, and Purpose Sampler by Plum Street Designs. And this is being done on, let me see, where's my tag? Oh, I thought I had it on here. Um, oh, here it is. It's a picture of this plus 36 count Wren. Here is my progress. And here are the threads. I have this in my beautiful bird bag. The next thing I started, um, I don't see many people stitching this. I remember Laura was talking about uh, maybe starting this. It's called Innocence 1840 and it's by um, Antique Reproduction Sampler. Here's the sampler. It is just a stunning looking sampler. Um, I am doing this on a, I do have this one, a 40 count picture this plus dapple using the called for DMCs. And here is my progress. It is a fiddly little um, border because you have to change colors a lot, but it still is gonna be so pretty. And here are, here are all of the DMCs that are called for on this. I think it's gonna look lovely on that dapple. Okay, um, I did get a few more stitches into my Prairie Schooler Santa. I think I got the words in over here and I was starting to put the, uh, I think there's a holly leaf or holly branch over there. And this one is the 2021 Santa and I'm doing this on 30 count raw linen uh, all my Santas will be on the raw linen. And this is my big bundle of Prairie Schooler Santa floss. So I hope to get this one done soon. I am a couple months behind on my my weekly Orny Sal and I'm behind on, on this Sal too. That's a Sal with Lost and Floss. It's, I don't remember the name of Sal. I'll put it in down here. Uh, the other one that I put some stitches on, I made fairly good headway, is Plum Street Always Remember. Started this, I think, on 
Independence Day. And it's beautiful. I saw this in person at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat in Amana, and it was the very first one I picked up, and I immediately went and ordered the floss uh, and the linen. And here is my progress. This is being done on eucalyptus. Um, it's called for, let's see, 36 count, 36 count eucalyptus. And here are the called for floss. So, like I said, made some good headway. It's a fairly fast stitch, um, at least so far. I think it might get a little bit more um, intensive when I get to that house. But look at the house. It has quilt stars in it. The grass has quilt stars in it. Aren't those? They're just, it's the coolest pattern, coolest chart. So good headway on that one. And then just last night, I put a little bit, a few more stitches into my uh, Rose Cottage Sampler pin keep. I'm doing this on 30 count instead of 36 count uh, weeks gray. Um, so mine's gonna be bigger. I'm not sure if I'm gonna frame it or if I'm still gonna make it. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna finish it. I am gonna change it up a little bit. So. I put my initials in here instead of Stacy Nash's, of course. So here's my progress. And then here where it has other initials, uh, four sets of initials, I'm going to put my grandmother, my mother, my daughter, and my granddaughter. And then of course I'll be up here. So I'll have five generations um, of girls in my family, my immediate family in this particular stitch. And here are the called for colors. This is um, charted in DMC. And here are the called, oops. Gotta get this all cattywampus here. There we go. These are the called for DMC. So that's what I've been stitching on. Um, I do have plans. I don't, I don't normally make stitching plans and I just noticed I don't have it sitting here with me. So hold on a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, I do plan to start um, a new start uh, in August for my grandmother's birthday. And the chart I'm going to start in the Roses for Ruby. My grandmother's name was Ruby and she loved roses. She lived in the Rogue Valley area where Jackson and Perkins is and they're very famous for the roses. And I'm going to, <clears throat> actually I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna to try to figure out how to put her name in here. I'm not sure where. I'm also gonna take these birds out and put little dogs because she was very fond of her little dogs. Um, so either her initials or her name are gonna go in there somewhere. I'll have to figure that out as, as I go along. And I'm doing this on, oh golly, what am I doing this on? I'm doing this on 36 count weeks Aspen, which is right here. That's pretty true to color. And it is charted, oh actually I think what I did, yeah, I did a color conversion. So this is my color conversion from the called for classic color works in dinky dyes to almost all um, Victoria motto. So I think those are gonna be really, really pretty. They're super close in color to the, to the DMC equivalent. So I don't know how close they are in color works or yeah, to the color works, but I really liked the colors. I spent quite a bit of time figuring that out. So I'm excited to start that. That'll be near the end of August for my grandmother's birthday. So those are my only plans. Other than that, I like to just wing it and play it by ear when it comes to my stitching and quilting, whatever's floating my boat at the moment. <clears throat> um, Back, <coughs> excuse me, 
Back to the bags, um, I just wanted to make a note. The winner of the bag will get to choose between a couple of different designs. And uh, one of them will be French General. This is the French General color line that will be available. And the other one will be a, a line from Poppy Cotton. And this is the bag from Poppy Cotton. So those will be the choices for the winner of the bag. The next thing is um, I got some stitchy kindness in the mail from Prims on Greenway, Lisa. And it's the coolest stuff. Um, she sent me some um, knitted lace. This is a really pretty cotton lace and it has a cute little pin on there. It came with this beautiful card. It was all wrapped up in this ribbon, which I always save my ribbon. I have a whole jar of ribbons. And it was this great, cute little card. Um, beautiful handwriting and beautiful hand-stained paper. This is really lovely. She sent a, um, a ring of floss drops and this just absolutely gorgeous uh, bling on the ring so this is one side this is a stone I'm not sure what kind of stone it is but it's so pretty and then here's the other side isn't that lovely so I love this <clears throat> she sent a really great um, pattern it's fractor birds which is like how did you know I love fractors so this is fractor birds it's a kit from Shakespeare Peddler, it comes with the floss. And then she also sent this beautiful, beautiful piece of linen wrapped in wool. Uh, you can tell it's my colors. And a lovely vintage handkerchief with Lily of the Valley. Let's see if I can get that without the glare. Lily of the Valley. And then this stack of beautiful wools. And she sent a little challenge that says she can't wait to see what I come up with. And I can't wait to see either, but I have a few ideas. So thank you so much, Lisa. This was um, a random act of kindness that she sent out to both me and Stitchy Witch 42. Um, so thank you, Lisa. It's just, they're, they're lovely. It's so fun to get stuff in the mail. And I, I truly, truly appreciate your gift and can't wait to see what I come up with. I did get a few um, things in the mail. I received my installment, the summer installment of the Scattered Seed Samplers um, Pink Heat series. So home sweet home. These are beautifully put together. They come with everything to make the pink heat, your fabric, your floss, it always comes with a cute little silver charm. There's, again, trying to not get the glare there. There's the silver charm. So I belonged to this last year as well, and um, this year, and I love these. I really need to get started on them, along with um, many, many other things, but I can just picture these in a bowl together. So I love, I love the birds. I also received my, um, Tomato Tomato, Let's see if we can get that, there we go. The Tomato Tomato, I ordered this through, uh, it's through a Facebook group that I belong to and I don't remember the name, I will put it down here. And um, Julie um, hosts that, that group and there's generally um, about maybe once a quarter uh, an exclusive design through that group only that you can get. And this one, I, I had to get it. it was so cute and I've seen several people have finished it already and I'm looking forward to working on that. So the tomato tomato and that's by hands on design. And then on the quilting side, I'm not going to show any of my quilting progress today, mostly because it's still in the packed up stuff, unpacked up stuff from, from my little excursion. Um, and, and I haven't really kind of pulled it all back together. So I'll, I'll show that next time. But I did get a few things on the quilting front um, or, or close to the quilting front, the sewing front. I got this pattern from hmm, Primrose Lane, I believe. 
and it's called Prairie Rose. It's an out of print fig tree pattern. It came out, let's see if there's a date on this, 2009. It came out 2009. I remember seeing this and not getting it at the time and I'm, um, I'm so glad that I was able to find it again. These purses are adorable and I'm going to do one in red with some Blackbird design fabric that I also picked up recently, which I'll show you in just a moment. So cute little purse pattern. And I was able to get some yardage of, um, this is from the At Home line, which was their last line. Uh, so this is beautiful. This is from their Country Orchard line, from Blackbird Design Country Orchard line. I got some yardage of that. Um, that would make a pretty purse too. And I was also to find a cinnamon spice blackbird design layer cake. So these were all ordered a couple of weeks ago um, before, before Barb's passing and before everything blackbird just went absolutely crazy um, on the internet to buy. So I think that's about it for today. It's going to be a short video, um, especially compared to the last two or three or four or five that I posted. But um, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Hope to get a little bit more stitching done. I'm, I just, I need to rest and sit and stitch after this last week. So uh, thanks for watching and, and hanging out with me. And I hope to see you again in a couple weeks. And again, the person, whose name that I don't remember, <laughs> but I'll put it down here, who won the bag. Please contact me by uh, this coming Friday, which would be July 24th. I'm not sure. I don't have anything in front of me that tells me. Um, but this coming Friday, and um, let me know which bag you would like, the one from Poppy Cotton or the one from French General, and I will get that sent out in the mail to you. And then I'll see you all again probably in a couple weeks. So have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.